YouTube, this is Dynamics here bringing you a tutorial on GIMP of how to create a orb or sphere looking thing. So first off, just get create a new thing, new what do you call it? And then you want a square, I'm gonna go six hundred by six hundred. Alright, so come up with that, create a new layer. Okay. Um, then you will go to the circle tool, just place the circle down, and in here, right, 50 by 50, then 500 by 500. So that's a square, that's a s um, like an exact circle square thing. No, it's like it's a circle that's proper circle, it's not a regular and it's um right in the middle. That makes sense. Right so now go on the blend tool, pick your colours. Now you've got them from earlier. I've got a dark red. You can use any dark colour and I've got a a light red. You could use a lighter colour for the one you've already choose. So pick your lighter colour for the f foreground and your dark colour for the background. So you'll get this um, and you'll go the shape, ra radial, drag the corner or where you want it to, well not corner because circles don't have corners, but where you want the lighting effect to come from. So Let's go back. Right, so if you want the light to come from there, you'll start from the top and go about halfway down. If you want the light from come the light to come from there, or look like the lights come from there, you want to do it that way, and so on. So it's easier on the top saying that. Well, not I mean like on the top half. So grab the top, drag it in about to the middle. Like that, sort of. Um, Alright, so now what you do is create a new layer. Okay, um, get the circle tool again. This can be sort of hard sometimes. Try and drag around the light areas, like that. Okay, I've done it wrong. Make sure you go into the insect tool and do it. So that looks all right. I could change it a bit, like that, and then get click on the default ones, and then switch the foreground and background. Get the gradient, and then do foreground to transparent, and you can keep it on radial. Then do it right to the end, a bit before the end, so it has like that effect. Grab the these on two point is a new opacity way of doing it. If you go to the if you grab the bottom, the bottom half, it goes slow, like a more pinpoint. If you do this off it's just high speed. So put it down to about say let's just say you can write it in as well. fifty. No, that's too high. It's bought. 25. Yes, but right, and then control shift A. Sometimes works, but let's just do it this way. So there you have like the basic thing. And then go on to the background or create a new layer and put it to the bottom. So you do that. Go put the. put it back to foreground to background and keep it on radial. Then get a black and then get a. Middle grey, say, so mine's eight seven eight seven eight seven, and then do that, and then get just before the bottom of the circle, and then drag it outwards, right or left, to where it looks like it has finished. It's about there. That's about about equal to there. To so do that. 
and there's a shadow effect. So this is really all you need to do. You can add more of them onto it, make them stronger to make them look re more realistic. But if you want a simple one, actually, I've got one thing. Another thing you can do. I forgot about this. Let's do that, and it's gonna merge. I lay down. Right. She didn't really need that layer there. Here, here it will. So the new text layout. I think I might show you another one. So that's port. Onto quite a long one. Sphere. Tutorial. And then highlight it. Put the size up a bit. And just, you can change the fonts and everything. I'm just going to put it up to 50. There we go, 50 is enough. And then just click off it. I'm just going to. You can't really move it very well. So I'm just going to decide to move it easier. Just do that. Right, what I'm going to do, go on the. Actually, no, you don't need to keep it on there. Yes, you do. Right, so you get the path tool, which is eight for long, be in the middle of the second row. Grab it from about there. Start again. Come over there, can move a bit. So let's put it a bit lower down there and then hold shift get the middle and pull it down a little bit so it looks like it's sort of going around the thing um the orb so then go text along path so you give it that and then go selection from path then you get your fill tool and click on the bubble layer, fill it in, go off the thing that's done it, I'm not sure. Actually No we need to go back on to the right, um go after selection or you just keep it on. Move the on layer. layer I want. Okay, I'll put it a bit off, but you can so that looks quite good. So you can sort of see it's it's been that one. You can sort of see it's along the um looks like it's carved or written onto the sphere. So like it's curving around the sphere. So you can see, still see that there. But if you save it, export it actually, as I'm just going to put it in my creations one, let's put it orb, tut, tut, export, So let it finish that, I don't want to take this long, but I think the computer's been slow. When it's finished, at the same time. Alright, it's finished doing that. We open this. You, yeah, I've done it there as well. Right, there it is. So I open it up. So what I've, what I've just done, that you can see there, I've done the similar thing. So if you do that, Right, I'm just going to preview it so it's a bit of a better view. So there's the basic basic thing. It looks quite good. You can have the light from here and do the same thing, but it's all relatively the same. So hope you enjoyed this tutorial and hope you learned something out of it. Hope you go and do it yourself and Give me some more suggestions of what you want to in tutorials, but 
so yeah I just want more if if you give me more like requests of what you want I'll put more up and so you can try them out yourself so I've been dynamic